One of the things that set Disney apart from the other cartoon companies back in the day and what really propelled them to what they have become was they were the first cartoon company to add sound to their cartoons. If we go back before cartoons, you know, could talk, music pretty much drove them forwards. The turning point was with the Silly Symphonies when they started adding music and timing the animations. The music. For us as sound designers and musicians, that's such a wealth of inspiration to draw from. In this specific game, music is very, very important because story is so important. Story and music go very hand in hand. It's just another layer on top of, of everything that builds emotion and builds connection to the game. It is part of the atmosphere. It is part of the experience that we want you to have. I auditioned like dozens and dozens of composers and said, I, what, it, what is the, the Disney sound? What does it mean? Is it orchestration? Is it a musical style? I mean, what is it? Jim Dooley, he immediately got what I was trying to get at. I mean, that Disney style, he was able to describe it in ways that I almost understood, and he was able to capture it. Jim Dooley did an incredible job of bringing in the concepts of classic Disney, but, you know, making the tone slightly off-center. This is by far the best music I've ever had in a game. There are moments where he raises you to, to heights of emotion that are just incredible. I mean, there's stuff in here that will bring you to tears, I promise. I asked Jim to create a Mickey theme and an Oswald theme. The thing is, it had to be flexible because in, in a game, you change the music based on what the player does. So he needed to create a theme that was incredibly flexible. Frankly, more flexible than I thought was possible. The changes that we have in the music from the ambient scoring that goes on when you're just exploring a world to the combat music that kicks in to the little bits of music that you get from the rides and riding them themselves have all catered to changing that atmosphere and, and kind of poking at the emotions of the player. We use the music to tell the player what Mickey is feeling. So if he's in a sad mood, the music's going to be sad. If he's happy or feeling triumphant about something. You know, we don't say triumph on the screen like that. We play it with music. So we have our character themes. And then on top of that, we needed themes that would be applicable to each land. Each land you visit has its own unique sound. The music is awesome at capturing the environment and the feel of the space. So Lonesome Manor has kind of this eerie, dark, haunting tone that goes on. Again, it's a mashup. Everything in the game is about taking things that shouldn't belong together and putting them together. The range of emotions in the score is stunning. It's not about an adrenaline rush. It's not about frowning and, you know, being really intense. It really has become a game about smiling as you play. <laughs> 